Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day. This is the Valder BB Show. Hi, Valder. Hi, Cheryl Ladd. How are you? I'm excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and I heard you brought a guest. Yes, I, this is Dr. Hollander, Ed, and um, we're very excited to be with you today. Well, uh, we're talking about a really important subject, Cheryl. Uh, I don't know what your age is, but I think over 40, you know, you have to really be concerned about your eyesight, cataracts, all those different things, and that's what you're here to talk about today. But we're going to talk to Dr. Uh, Holland first. Dr. Holland, would you set the medical platform for us about cataracts? Sure. A lot of a lot of people don't understand what cataracts are. First of all, cataracts are extremely common. It's estimated that 24 million individuals in the United States have cataracts this year, and by the year 2020, that'll be 30 million. If we look at individuals 80 years and older in the U.S., Half of them either have a cataract or have already had their cataract removed. So it's extremely common, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions about cataracts. Cataracts are an aging process of the lens of the eye. The lens sits right behind the iris, the colored part of the eye. And as we get older, the cataracts develop. They become uh, less clear, and they start reducing the light into the eye, and then causes change in your, in your quality of vision. And, and unfortunately, some elderly patients kind of accept that, but you don't have to accept that because we have great treatments for, for cataracts. Uh, I see so med many medical advances, and is this something easy to do, but you have to be with an ophthalmologist to spot this, correct? Right, so I wouldn't, we don't like to describe surgery as easy, but we do say there's some tremendous medical breakthroughs. So you contrast cataract surgery a couple decades ago when we had large incisions and a lot of sutures and patients couldn't lift anything for many, many weeks and their lifestyle was affected and it took them three months to get their vision back. And you look at what we do today, we've had tremendous advances in the, in the technique of taking out the cataract and then in the replacement lens, which is called an intraocular lens, tremendous breakthrough. So today we have an incision that's two millimeters uh, in length, which is incredibly small. We use no sutures. We have a 98% success rate with cataract surgery, and the vast majority of patients can resume full activity within 24 hours. So they can go and lift their grandkids. They can go hit a tennis ball. They can go jogging. So it has really changed, but that that's, really shows the tremendous breakthroughs we have in, in, in technology and medicine today. That's right. We're in the technology, medicine, food, and a personal responsibility revolution, Dr. Holland. Carol <laughs> Ledge, I was looking at your eyes on the uh, Internet. You have beautiful eyes, but tell me your story. Well, you know, um, it's interesting. We have a website called uh, cataracteyeq.com -E where uh, I want everybody after you hear this to get on the Internet and look it up and find out what your cataract IQ is because like me, um, uh, we have found that a lot of people don't know anything about cataracts, don't know about the treatment. They know, they've heard the word before, but they, I, I knew nothing. So when my husband was having vision problems and I was encouraging him to go to the doctor, we found out that he had cataracts and that he was going to have to have surgery. And anyway, we, it was kind of overwhelming to sit in the room and hear all of this at first because neither of us really had any information about what any of it was. And, and all that information coming at you can be pretty overwhelming. So we so encourage people to go on the, the website and learn about it and know about it because, well, my husband says, you know, I, I should have done this sooner. I could kick myself in the butt because I didn't do this sooner. I had my eyesight back. 
And so many of us, as Dr. Holland often says, that, that as we are aging, we just start to accept aging changes in our bodies and, um, you know, just, well, I guess I'm getting old. And you don't have to. You shouldn't. Go to your ophthalmologist. Go to your eye doctor. Find out what's going on with your eyes. And you can make a great choice to, to get young eyes again, literally. And they can fix more than just the cataracts, right, Doctor? Sh Cheryl, you're absolutely right. So we can fix other things such as astigmatism. Astigmatism is a, a curvature of the cornea that's asymmetric. And so if you have corneal astigmatism, you, you have to wear glasses or a contact. With modern cataract surgery, we can take the cataract out, and then we have an intraocular lens that can correct astigmatism. Uh, as Cheryl was saying, this is a public awareness campaign. We're, we're uh, partnering, Cheryl and I are partnering with Alcon, and we'll Talk about Alcon, it's one of the leading uh, corporations in eye care, and it's a Texas company in Fort Worth, and they have tried to partner with us to increase cataract awareness, and, and that, that's what this is all about. June is Cataract Awareness Month. All right, then. Thank you so very much for that information. And I'm going to wrap up with Ms. Cheryl Ladd and find out where we're going to see her on the big screen and the small screen next. Well, uh, the big screen next, um, right now, I don't know the exact date, but I just finished a film uh, for Warner Brothers. I play Katherine Heigl's mother in, in the film, and it's, it's going to be a goodie. Um, the script was wonderful, and I'm really thrilled about being in it. And I'm also, uh, I have a new venture in my life. I'm uh, building homes in Texas and designing homes. Um, oh, really? with Yeah, so I have a new business called Cheryl Ladd Signature Homes that is uh, in its infancy, but we're getting going, and it's exciting. Well, we'll be looking that out to come in, a, in the market for a new house, Cheryl Ladd. I want to thank <laughs> you so very much for being my guest today. You and Dr. Holland on the Belle DeBee Show, but talking about a, a subject that really affects my audience. My audience is baby boomers, and we're the ones who, if it's out there, we usually have it. So thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Valder.